coming in the fall of 2018, the film you've been waiting for your entire life. Venom without Spider-Man! Rock! Get your ass in here! Yeah, JJ? What is this? These are the worst pictures I've seen in my life! What have you been doing? Take a photography class from that uh, kid, uh, Paul or something? I think it's Philip. No, who cares? You're fired! Film without Spider-Man! God, it's me, Eddie. I've never asked you for anything. Until now. It's just one little thing. Please kill the guy responsible for my horrible life. Kill... Jeez. What was, what was his name? Film without Spider-Man! The suit is so powerful. It's the perfect tool to kill my arch nemesis. Um, my arch nemesis, whose name is uh... Venom without Spider-Man. It's okay. We're here to rescue you. Wait, you're supposed to be one of the good guys. Yes. Then why do you have like? 7,000 razor-sharp teeth and a Gene Simmons tongue covered in green slime. I wondered that too. Too threatening. Yeah, a bit threatening. You do better as a bad guy. Then you could fight that friendly neighborhood superhero. Um, he's got that red and blue outfit. Um, Captain America. Wait, that's not right. Fiddle without Spider-Man! Thanks for your help, Venom. You're welcome, Chief. If you don't mind me asking, where'd you get that suit? You know, funny story. It used to belong to, uh, this guy. This guy, damn. His name is on the tip of my tongue. Venom without Spider-Man! Venom, Venom, Venom. Uh, Ben York, uh, Daily Bugle. Can I get a statement for our readers? Uh, that symbol on your chest, uh, what does it mean? Hope or justice or some such? I'm not quite sure, actually. I mean, if I had to guess, it looks like some sort of bug or insect. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Kind of like an arachnid or a, a spy. Venom without Spider-Man! Because Kevin Feige said we couldn't use him, even though we own him. Which is kind of confusing. We're still taking orders from this guy. I mean, what's up with that? This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk about their collective jealousy of Tommy Wiseau. I mean, we've been making a podcast that's so bad it's good for years now. Where the Hell Is Our Award-Winning Biopic Starring James Franco and Seth Rogen. I'm your announcer Julie. And my mustache has been digitally removed for the entirety of the show. But sadly, we couldn't do anything about the chest hair. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Strap in scumbags, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. I'm DJ Valentine, and as always, I'm joined by two guys who put the triple X in Xmas. Chief Justice, Matthew Stewart, and Dr. Justin Polizzi. Uh, Justin is a little preoccupied because he's on the line uh, with Costco. So if you hear any little elevator music here, it's probably because he's waiting for... He's waiting to cancel an order, and he's he has how much time left on his order here? How, how much time do you have left in your order here, Justin? Thank you for your patience. All our representatives are busy with other customers. And then when she picks up, we'll all clap. And your call will be Eighty-two fucking minutes of my very short, God-given life. Right, right, right. All I need to do is cancel the <laughs> gift basket I purchased last night because my goddamn girlfriend's sister <laughs> apparently moved on fucking Thursday and I spent the money on Friday and it's only Saturday. <laughs> so who's at fault here then? Who is the person at Costco. fault here? <laughs> Costco's at fault. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Lauer. 
<laughs> no. Yeah. Well, he was kind of preoccupied with uh, sure James Bond S door doors. Make sure it's not locked. Yeah, make sure yeah. make sure he's not behind that desk. <laughs> I don't like locked doors. I hate them. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. As seen on he's, TV item. He's going to need a shitload of gift baskets, uh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Costco baskets. I might be able to help him out there. <laughs> If you can't get this one, if you can't get a refund on this one, you might want to like you know do a little black market stuff to uh, Matt Lauer, sell it on the on the slide. There's always yeah, Amazon, yeah. Amazon, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, yeah, Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Well, <clears throat> what a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I know. Speaking of that, I got an I got I got an Alexa. Those things are you got a cool. what? You got a one what? Of those Echo Dots, Alexa. This what isn't like is some that? type of weird sex joke or anything like that. It's the little dot thing, the Alexa. Little dot thing? Is it Indian? Echo dot. <laughs> no, it's not a red dot. Are you speaking English? It's Are you speaking blue, English? blue, orange, green. Yeah, I, I, one of those Amazon uh, Echo dots. Is she with you right now? Is, <laughs> put, no, put, she's put the microphone. downstairs. Oh. Uh, I, I, you I, need I, a yeah, dot in that room. <laughs> idea for Christmas. I know, I need a dot in every room. Yeah, I need a dot in every room. So we can have, a, or like a co-host, we can have Alexa... Tell us things when we need it right away. Well, I think Julie would kind of find that. She, she might get jealous. I, she might well, get jealous. Uh-huh. Of we've already, we've already went through that. I, said, I, I sent some drama brewing here. I think we've already Whoa. done that. We've done that storyline already. <laughs> we can do it again. <laughs> well, you, well, you, know what's, you know what's better than the original? A sequel. <laughs> a, re- re- a remake. A reboot. <laughs> a remake. A rehab. Imagination. A retread. <laughs> Reimagination. There you well, go. Uh, <laughs> we've been uh, gone a while, so uh, I-, I just got a rehab. Matthew, we've just been on hold with Costco. I- I've been here the whole time. <laughs> we've been on hold with Costco. He's this whole just has month. been online with Costco. I've been working at Costco. <laughs> That's true. You've been shopping at Costco. <laughs> I the have Costco been shopping connection. at Costco. Yeah, <laughs> we're quite the Californians, aren't we? <laughs> Ooh. Costco. Well, I thought we'd. Uh, we catch up with a little segment we call uh, Can You Dig It? 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 Time for a segment that helps us catch up on the news of Hollywood at a speed that makes it impossible for any kind of comprehensive thought. So it's like every other segment we do. It's Can You Dig It? Can you dig it? This is where we go over some of the news stories we might have missed since we were our last show. So uh, I'm just going to throw out some subjects, and Matthew and Justin will uh, talk about them, all right? So um, I'm just going get this one out of the way. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to talk about this one, but fine. DCEU status. Can you dig oh, yeah. it? <laughs> DCEU. We're digging something. DC. We're digging something. Is it? Is that like the DC European Union? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this to you guys. So uh, you're bigger fans of DC than I. The floor Are is yours. Are we now? Yes. Oh, oh. oh, Costco. <laughs> <laughs> you know Costco. So you could get a, a bat. A you could get a Batman v Superman John <laughs> of Justice Blu-ray for about four bucks at Costco. I, get, I, I see get six it. of them in a pack. I see it. <laughs> well. Um, I'm sure you've seen my review of uh, the Justice League. Yeah, I was a little yeah. more. I was a little um, more nice it. about it, to be honest. Yeah, you were. You were. Um, but, I, but I feel like we shared similar uh, uh, infuri- infuriation. Somebody it. told me I, I was nitpicking. Do you feel like I was nitpicking? You nitpicking? No, uh, no, no. Uh, you know, um, I, I feel like typically you let things go. Little things go. You don't. You're not. A, you're not a really a nitpicker. You should go well, for the big, the big know, jugular you, stuff. Yeah. Would you would you agree picnic. with me that the sound mixing was quite terrible? Like, well, it wasn't good. That it was like too loud and too soft. Sometimes. <laughs> what? What is that? Is that the Superman yeah. theme? I know the Superman. Is that, is that it? Is that, that it? That was pretty underwhelming. I think theme. I can't hear it. Over Am I just the, getting the old, or can I not hear it anymore? Because when was you that hear the Batman theme, I heard under everybody else's breath. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you'll want that to be, you know. Lighting up the room, but we're kind of hiding it because we. I I, I didn't get that. Um, you know why? You know why? They, you know why they hit that, right? What, what is our What is our motto? Never uh, remind we, me of a better have, movie, a and you're not good movie. 
<laughs> That's one of our models on every commentary. Don't remind well, me of a good movie in your bad movie. Yeah. Play it's me the odd. bad movie. The I hate the odd. good movie. But at the, the same movie time, itself it was, or a, just the it, was a, it was a... <laughs> It was, it was the sound mixing that really pissed me off. On top of <laughs> That's the thing that really, you know, what, you know um, what really sticks in my crawl, Justin? Sound mixing. So the thing with that is, uh, it was still a fun time though. I still, you know, I went to the movies. Didn't get, you know, I say many times, I don't, I don't get to go to the movies very often, but I, I you know, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a fun thing uh, to, to behold. Sometimes, you know, I shook shook my head in in just. I was just dumbfounded sometimes with some of the choices they made. <laughs> you know, there it was kind of odd. I mean, I think I'm my biggest. My head right now. What was your biggest problem with the movie? Let's start with you, DJ. Well, I mean, I've talked about this movie at nauseum, so I'll just say just your biggest uh, problem. The number my one. My biggest problem is that it's rushed as the a motherfucker. The one biggest issue. It is. So, it you can see it being rushed, okay. and if this. If this wrapped uh, article is correct, yeah. that Kensu Johara and it's the WB like execs didn't want to push the film back, and they decided to rush it to get their fucking bonuses. <laughs> if that's true, fuck this. I, I, usually, I'm, try, I'm, I'm rooting for them yeah. to get their shit right. But if that's the case, fuck them. No, fuck I, all of them. <laughs> I agree, and I think uh, Warner Brothers really needs to clear house over there. Um, yeah. The one good decision, I think, was the two-hour mark. And even for a movie like that, they probably should have went a little longer uh, when you have so many characters in one. But two hour marks pretty good for a solo film. So let's 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 now uh, switch over to Matt. Now, yes. what was your biggest problem with JL? Uh, the complete shift in direction the movie had, where it's dark and then it's light. Um, you, when you, when, when, but you, you take really like the light, somebody, didn't you? Nah, yeah, I liked in it when certain the Avengers scenes. did it like five years ago. Certain it was scenes, cool. but in certain scenes, I liked it was uh, really da, 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 da. I liked that. Oh, but you I couldn't like, hear it because of the. Scene, the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, you like, do, oh, I'm you a parrot. Do, you do the theme song, <laughs> Matt. You do the theme song, and I'll mix. I'll mix okay, it. Okay, you're gonna do <laughs> this. Is a impromptu sound mixing. <laughs> you know what my biggest problem was? Yes. What? What's what grinds your your gears, Mr. J? Mr. J. The opening scene, and I'm not talking about that Superman scene. I've already discussed what I had problems with that. With. But Baby Mel. <laughs> Yeah. Fighting a motherfucking criminal, and what the fuck does he do but ties up the motherfucking criminal and fucking calls Alfred on the fucking intercom with his fucking real name right next to the fucking criminal, and all he has to do is Google Gotham City Alfred. And how many motherfucking Alfreds are in Gotham fucking City? I got a worse one for you, Justin. How about Lois Lane just calling? How about Lois Lane just calling fucking Superman Clark in front of like eighteen cops in broad fucking daylight? You know, hey, hey like, don't call him Clark. Ah, Warner Brothers fuck. treats the their, their you're, you're getting too into like the a gay porn here. movie. Jizzing everywhere, shooting everywhere, flinging that dick everywhere. No one needs it. No one needs it. Let it and go. I don't know why the hell. Uh, why is Bat? I know Batman's sometimes. old. I know Batman's old, but why is he taking so long to defeat that criminal? <laughs> I, uh, I mean, well, from the maybe from, he's from an the, expert criminal. Maybe he's really good. In the first Batman v Superman: <laughs> Dawn of Dumbassness, he beats the shit out like thirty guys in like five seconds. This dude from well, Mindhunter well, also feel... is like a challenge. <laughs> I don't understand. I also I also feel that that's a scene that Joss Whedon directed. I hope not, because that's. I, it, uh, it was. It was. Whoever directed bright. it, it, it was very one. It, careful. It starts almost. Off, it was too funny. I well, don't know they, they said they, they they said they were going to make the opening scene a comedy, and they had to like uh, get comedy some pushback errors. on Superman. No, the uh, the Batman scene was supposed to be comedic. That was comedic. Apparently. Who told, who told you no, they, it was going to be. They kind of pulled it back. Why is Batman comedy? So it might have been they just pulled it back. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently. You, I can only imagine. Maybe Batman criminal? had a red nose in the original. <laughs> yeah, you, you had the criminal like jumping towards Batman. And it's like, hey, so did you get him? It's like, oh, come on. Fuck out of here. And he left him there. He just left him there. He didn't arrest him. He didn't do anything. I gotta go. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> that, that whole scene, it was, it was the way they edited Ew. it together. It was like Ew. really like weird. Like, I don't and understand. Like, where, where am I? How does Batman know yeah, parody The lighting was coming? really not. How, Good. It was like a it TV seems, fucking movie. It looked movie. like it was supposed to be a cartoon, but it's not. But again, guys, 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 it all stems from the same spot. The whole thing is rushed. The CGI is rushed. The story is rushed. The scenes are rushed. The movie is two hours, on, uh, two Wolf hours and thirty minutes. Backstories are rushed. The the climax is rushed. Everything is hey, rushed in this movie. Is there, never rushed. There is there is a lot of good in there as well. Um, a lot of yes. things to take away from it. I know we've well, okay, gone off topic here. What was your favorite part here. then, Justin? What was your number one part. favorite it's gotta part? Be, it's got to be Superman versus Justin. Yeah. That's the best part I mean, of the I, fucking I, movie. I, in the review, I kind of said that should have been the movie. <laughs> I mean, it should... That should have been the movie. It should have been <laughs> yeah. them having to bring Superman back because um, they know that he's coming. And that's the only way to defeat him. And the Flash, you know, was the last of the member uh, of the Justice League. They all died. And he goes back in time and uh, tries to get Superman to come back to uh, life to uh, take down our, our boy. But this is kind of DC. This is kind of DCEU as a whole. So it, putting aside just they shot League, themselves in the foot because of the Batman versus Superman, it, it it would feel the same thing again. You know, you would feel that same. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, but at least how do you feel re- about the whole? How do you feel about the reason whole, for it though? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the whole uh, Ben Affleck, is he in, is he out thing? Well, that's you, terrible, I mean... too. Um, I know you and I were talking about it, and from my understanding and from what I've heard, it's it's official. It was made official a while back. Um, February. Yeah, yeah, so, again, they just need to clear house over at Warner Brothers and get rid of a lot of those guys because they clearly have tried a few times now, and they clearly do not know what their workflow should be and and they they don't understand what they need to be doing they have the greatest properties and they have a hard time trying to figure that out and that's just incredible to me i I don't i don't really get it i I like i like i mean everyone i think pretty much likes ben affleck as batman but um yeah i think one of the you don't want the biggest injustice would be if we never (laughs) he's kind of over it solo film but yeah he doesn't want to deal with it i mean why not because he's i mean to him it's like he he's tired of it too i think he's tired just like he's always he's always loved bat he's always loved batman but if if this is the shit he has to get every time he makes a movie but they keep coming he's like fuck it it ain't worth it dude you know (laughs) i'll go direct movies and be fine i don't i don't do this i don't he started all saying that he's he's gonna write star in direct a batman movie and then he started saying yeah you know i'm gonna not write it or have somebody else do it then it's like oh i'm gonna have somebody else direct it and then ah i don't really want to be him it's it's kind of it's kind of weird to see that you don't ever see that with an an actor like that so many uh, news articles had it come out and i really wish they would just make up their mind because at this point the roller coaster is really sickening and uh, i think we're all kind of getting a little sick and tired of all this amateur hour the, uh, well, I the think, one I shining know, I hope. Feel like it's over. But I'm glad we DC finally got Superman. You. We got we got a real get Superman. Superman? Or no? I, don't, I like Superman. Oh, oh, we got we got we got Superman on paper. I think uh, and, ju- again, I'm I've justice, never, I, you know. Yeah, I, I I've never Truth minded justice. Henry Cavill. I, I'm I'm kind of a Henry Cavill fan, uh, he's, he's but good. it's just the, the fact that they decided that they they could. I'm an idiot, and I'm sitting there coming up with 14 different creative ways to keep the beard. And the fact that they decided to do what they did and then rush them, give them six right, months. Right, they could have kept the beard. The most or you literally had something yeah, from the, the comic book beard. you could have just used. You could have just used anything the other than from what the they comic g- book. And then trying and to get rid of them. Matthew, okay. Matthew any, any decision you could come up out of your brain is better than what they decided. If they decided, no, this is the best option, you're fucking stupid. They're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> this, I mean... If, if he showed up with a beard and it was like, how the hell does he have a beard? Is that better or worse than baby I, I wouldn't need even Clutch, thought clutch cargo. Well, well, if even it was a passive fan, I'd be like, oh, it's a beard. All right. All right. You, you get over it. But then you would have had this argument. Like Either way, you're fucked because you would have had the same argument with like, oh, Superman doesn't have a beard from all these fuckers. And then he would have had like, oh, his face looks all fucked up because it's CG. So well, I can, way, I, can, I can refute that with canon. I can't refute baby mouth. 
<laughs> I can say I can lie to myself and say, "Oh, I didn't notice it," which I don't know if you're. You must need fucking glasses if you don't notice the motherfucker has a mouth fifteen times smaller than his fucking face. The problem uh, so is, I don't it's, know it's, in <laughs> it's in a three hundred. It's in a three hundred dollar movie. If that was in a fifty million dollar movie, eh, I can get. I get it, but not when it's a nearly. Well, half a fucking it, trillion dollar movie. It was really hard <laughs> because of the time limit that they had. I mean, we're talking... We're, right, we're rushing. rushing. Again, well, standing on the problem. Issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, re, I mean, reshoots really fucked it up, too. You had to do all these fucking reshoots, and Henry Cavill was like, hey, mate, I gotta go. He's not Australian, but it sounds Australian in my head. Hey, mate, hey, I gotta go. I gotta, hey, I gotta get the oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, I, I gotta shoot a movie that matters. <laughs> I'm doing Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, okay? He don't yeah, rush shit. I gotta fucking go. And, uh, <laughs> Except the <moment. laughs> I got all the time in the world. You don't, but you I don't. Do. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> fucking. All right. We'll, 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 we'll leave DC in there. There's Stu. Uh, Amazon Lord of the Rings oh, series. No. Can you dig it? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's a whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We, but, uh, we got three movies and we got three movies we didn't need, so we got we got I guess we split hairs here. So I don't know. I guess they're trying to fill the gap of the game of, when once Game of Thrones goes off the air, something has to fill that void. What? So and Amazon has do a we, do, we money, now? So. do we really have to fill that void? Does that void need to be filled? Somebody's going. I, I, I say I didn't say need uh, want to fill that void. They're, well, they're going to fill that void. It's like I kill one drug dealer, another drug dealer's going to take his fucking place. Yeah, I I, I don't. Uh, yeah. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not. HBO, so it's unfortunately yeah. Amazon has. There aren't many Amazon shows worthwhile greatest, to watch yeah. either. What is the best Amazon show? Um, what is the best? I mean, I'm, I'm not a big. You like that? What, take, what, is it Twin Pines? Pine, what is it Twin Pines or something? What's that show you like, Justin? Um, Twin something? Red, 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 oaks, red, oaks, red, right? yeah, red oaks. Red pines. Um, yeah, I like red. that. Um, red ass. The tick was good. <laughs> uh, the John Claude Van Damme uh, show. Not bad. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, but this Man is going to require Castle's way good. more money than those shows. Yeah, sure. That's good. Man in a High Castle was but, cheap compared. To, but I mean, everything is good, but Rings, not great. Well, that's the problem with it. There's you know, nothing right. that stands out. And cheap. It's cheap yeah. to make. The tick is cheap to make. Fucking Red Oaks or whatever is cheap to make. Hey man, don't say that. They're going to fucking jack the prices up of Amazon. Well, that's Am- all right. So Amazon's that's what I was going to get. My two day shipping is going to be like nine dollars. Uh. I was gonna get to the fact that keep, my, that keep that shit cheap. I don't want my fucking shipping going up. Well, it's it's a hundred bucks a year for Prime, and you know it was never really a good deal until the last few years, and it became a a, a pretty good deal. Uh, most of us buy it for the shipping costs. If you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, yeah. like I do, it's best. But the um, Amazon Video is not bad. It's it's it's. It's gotten better. There's some things on there that you'd be surprised that you can find late at night. Can't find anything on. But that's my problem. Yeah. If they take on a Lord of the Rings, which is going to be a costly project, very yeah. expensive, expensive as fuck. Mm-hmm. I do not want. And do nobody right, really yeah. wants it, to be honest with you. We've already gotten it. And they want to expand and do side stories. That's the biggest thing to take away from this is the movies could not do their side stories of certain characters. They had the time limit restraints. Right. And so they got rid of a lot of that. So Amazon wants to redo it, but of course, prolong it more and uh, add these side stories. And mm-hmm. I just, no one really wants this to happen. And, and I've seen a lot of uh, interviewers ask some of the original cast, and they all say the same thing. What's the, what's the point? And again, I guess it just uh, justifies yeah. a, a, a price hike. And I would really not like a price hike. And if it's gone any more uh, because of that, then, yeah. I mean, Netflix is doing something very similar and they keep raising their prices. Yeah. And at this point, it's not worth it anymore. Isn't Netflix going up today? Uh, it might be yesterday? today. Yeah, mm-hmm. it might have been yesterday or today. Yeah, and, it's uh, 1099. It's, it's ridiculous. Thanks, Netflix. Wow. 1099 and you use it what? <laughs> like three times a month? They're trying to get all the money they can before all those Marvel shows leave. Yeah, all the Marvel, right, all that Disney, everything goes <laughs> away. All that Disney shit uh-huh. dips out of there. Yeah, it dips out of there. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, how about this one? Uh, David a- David S. Goyer to helm a he can go movie. fuck himself. Yeah. <laughs> can you dig that? <laughs> what, about, what about John Woo? I think John Woo should come back and make his promise. I, how did, no, how no, does he no, still get jobs? I don't know. I, when they said David S. Gore, I, when they said to direct, I'm like, the guy who did Blade 3? I like Blade 3. <laughs> Why? Yeah, what, 
You know the track record. What, you like Blade 3? I don't mind it. With a fucking bow and arrow with a laser fucking lightsaber string? That fucking movie you like? Yeah, he had an interesting quote. I, I can't I can't verbatim it, but he said something along the lines, years years ago, Warner Brothers was trying to do Batman versus Superman. And I, I don't know mm. if you know this story. The script came out. If you've ever read the script, it is, it is amazing. And, and uh, uh, there's, a, there's a killer bee in it. Let's just say that. The killer bee? And, uh, okay. Yes, a killer bee. It's a killer. You should check out, check out the script. That'd be your homework, guys. Is this the Wolfgang Peterson? Yeah, he was going to pop on, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that, that, that bee drove Batman crazy and, and seeking revenge. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I, w- I would have paid money to see that. <laughs> I would have paid. Well, no, no, that. no. It, it, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a quick synopsis. Uh, Superman uh, is is Superman in this movie, and and, and Batman's uh, given up, and he meets this woman, and they marry, and Batman goes off, and there's no more Batman, and they're off on their honeymoon, and a killer bee kills her, and she dies, and therefore well, okay, Batman right. has this revenge, and he, he gets angry. And he starts going after all these people, and he's like, "I'm gonna kill them." And Superman's like, "Hey, you can't be killing these people." And he's like, "You don't get it, Clark. You just don't get it." He's like, "I'm gonna kill them." He says something along the lines, "I'm gonna rip their skin off and and and, and hang it in front of their eyes so they Whoa. can see their own skin." I like it. And he goes off into what this the whole thing. That's very Superman. <laughs> Turns out, spoiler alert. This. Um, oh, by the way, at this this Batman, he's given up. He's done. He's retired. Uh, Robin's dead. Alfred's dead. Uh, Joker's dead. Mm. Gordon's dead. Everybody's dead in his life. Wow. So he goes back. <laughs> you sure Zack Snyder didn't have anything to do with this? Uh, I'm sure. That's what Zack Snyder there. masturbates to at night. It's like, everyone's dead. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> so Batman goes into the Batcave, and there's a hologram of Alfred. And now Alfred's back. And so he goes after all these people, and he, he there's a thing one and a thing two, essentially, henchmen. And essentially, it turns out that Lex Luthor... Uh, Superman finds out visiting Lex Luthor in jail that he cloned the Joker and the Joker's still alive. Uh, I believe that's how it went. And the Joker made this girl because Uh, they know mm -hmm. who Batman is, it's Bruce Wayne. And he (laughs) killed her so he can drive him crazy. And the whole thing is crazy. It sounds like the dumbest. It sounds so dumb that I'd watch. This is just the whole point of this is Goyer. And he said, like, when a studio wants to make a Batman versus Superman, they are out of ideas. That's that's essentially it. It's over. They have nothing oh. else to do. Like, <laughs> what? Five, six years later, he's fucking he's writing Batman fucking... versus Superman. <laughs> and and some of those ideas kind of came back. If you if you read the yeah. script and you kind of you know, there's some mirroring there. Um, I think that's how that's 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 Goyer talking out of his ass. And he has a horrible track record. Absolutely horrible track record. So why does he keep getting jobs? Is beyond me. He's been eating off of this fucking, is the guy who it, said Batman Martian Begins Manhunter for years uh, is the stupidest character ever, and he doesn't need to be in a Justice League film. Well, I mean, I guess He Man's yeah, dumb enough I mean, for him because He Man's not really. I mean, you you could make a cool He Man movie, but they he, David S. Goyer would probably make a something as ridiculous as what you just oh, yes. well, I mean, oh, He-Man wow. is pretty ridiculous in and of itself. I mean, it's like... I, 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 sure, sure. That's probably why it's a, probably yeah, a it, better fit if than you, Batman. If you look back him, at, like, I mean, Masters of the Universe, been, like, there's a... The whole, like, scene where they're... Like, the whole part in Masters of the Universe when they're on Earth, it reminds me of the fucking, like, clown carnival in uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. When they're just yeah, rolling yeah, down the fucking with- street <laughs> with their fucking killer fucking car, whatever it is, just sucking... Whatever the fuck they're doing, I don't know. Taking everybody, everybody back to eternity <laughs> there or something like that. I don't, know. I don't know. It's silly. All right. How about uh, how about this? How about this story? Uh, Ryan Johnson doing his own Star Wars trilogy uh, with has nothing to do with the the, the Skywalkers apparently. Can uh, you dig that? I dig it. I mean, it's just going to be what just like the Force and the same units and stuff like that. I mean, every year we're going to get a Star Wars. Film. Yeah, I dig it. I mean, better for <laughs> fucking think of something quick. <laughs> Till the end of time, until Disney says, <laughs> I've had enough. Well, 
And we're never we we kind of got to watch The Last Jedi, I guess, to really answer that question. I mean, from what I've seen. I mean, before for them to give him this yeah. means that they, they must have seen The Last too. Jedi and were like, oh, this it is It looks shit. incredible. It looks yeah. really good. So I, I want to say it's a good thing. At least it's not uh, those, those other guys. No, his own trilogy, but is he going to be using characters uh, from a... the expanded universe? Are going to allow that type of thing uh, to happen? All I all I, he had, he hasn't, they have all I've heard is that it's not doesn't have anything to do with the Skywalkers. I'm hoping, Good. and I have my fingers crossed, it's Old Republic, but I don't know if they're going to do that yet because that's still not canon. Yeah, no, that's expanding the universe. Yeah, it does so. Old Republic? Well, listen, they're going to need to make as many toys yeah, as possible. Yeah, so a lot yeah, of it, we need you know, toys. Never we oh, need toys. toys. Oh, there's yeah. a lot. That, I mean. Oil, Old Republic has mad uh, has to- bad toy, toy has angry toy. Darth Revan masks, Malik. Yeah, you can get a whole Mickey's bunch of gonna stuff love that. Um, all right. Daphne and Velma from Scooby Doo, they're making a prequel movie. Yeah. Can you dig it? With them like Scooby hanging out. Huh? I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Solve the mystery. That's, that's, no that's a Warner Brothers franchise. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Is that Warner Brothers? Brothers? Hannibal Barra Warner Brothers? is Warner Brothers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they have a hard time oh, man. with that project. Well, hey, they're giving you know, they up, they're giving up on the DCU, so they might as well uh, concentrate on the Scooby-U. See what I did there? The, the Ooh. <laughs> I, was wait, the I was waiting all oh day God, to say that one. The quality of the quality. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Scooby the Cinematic the Universe, holy shit. Yeah, buddy. Who would you all cast? Right, yeah, Who would you cast it just as sounds a, like a young porn to me. Velma, young Daphne, I guess. And how young? Man, I don't know. How it's young probably, would you go? Probably be like, <laughs> I, I, God knows. This sounds like. I mean, I like Linda Cardellini's yeah. Velma, but I, now you're gonna have to find the new one. So you're gonna probably pull from Disney or some shit. One of the one of these teeny Zach boppers. Oh yeah, we okay. We can Mickey go to the Club thing, that I don't anymore. give a shit about. <laughs> I mean, who gives a shit? Unless it's a porn, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Dave, yeah, Dave. Already, <laughs> if you look far enough, just go on Pornhub. I'm sure you can find it. <laughs> Sure, Daphne and Velma it's porn probably is probably already there. there. I mean, Trust me, I'm porn sure. is always on the cusp. <laughs> He's done his research. Right. Matthew has done, ex- <laughs> Matthew has done extensive research. Done research. <laughs> casting the Matthew. casting couch. Don't use a yeah. researcher. All right, Dark Universe is dead. <laughs> no shit. Okay, <laughs> next. Can you dig it? Like is this the DC ago, Dark Universe or is this the other Dark I Universe? I don't even know who. Every Universal. Universe Universal is, is like. I love, I love my, this is like one of my favorite things ever too, by the way, because the, uh, the vampire movie comes out, right? Dracula, whatever. Untold is garbage. Right, right? And then yes, at the end, he's garbage. like, what does he, what does he say? Like, this is only the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so bad. They're like, okay, we're, like, we're restarting it. And- <laughs> that movie never happened. Yeah. And then the mommy comes out and they're like, yeah, we're done. Man. We got Russell Crowe, though. No, yeah. no, no. Sorry. This goes to show you that every fucking studio has no fucking idea what they're doing with any of the products at this point. At all. D- Water D- doesn't know fucking anything. Universal fucking doesn't know anything either. You know. Disney they, rules the but fucking we, but world, it, everybody. It, it, you know, it has the balls. If they had the it's balls. bad because from the beginning we knew this was stupid, a stupid idea. No, it, it could have been great. Over, no, it could have been no. fantastic. It could have been. We really... knew this was a dumb idea. No, it was terrible. And it could have been the only way, stupid idea. The only way this would have worked if they had the balls to go in there and do a classic, classic monster movie, like like a black and white. If they had the balls, sure. The closest they one they had the was fucking, what do you call it? It was the Wolfman. Get the Wolfman. Oh, that was fine. And that movie bombed. I know. I don't know that why. That movie bombed. The but same motherfucker. Because who... nobody gives a shit. I'm, I'm talking practical effects, guys. I'm not talking fucking CG and monsters coming out and That's too utilizing what shit. the mummy did in the 90s. I'm talking go back. Cheney and, and 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 do your classic monsters. Mm. Yeah, you should have started with Frankenstein. You have the, like the first greatest ever character of film, <laughs> and you fuck guys. it up. But I mean, I it's, hard. I, it's, it's hard. It's not hard. It's, they, they, Matthew's right. They made a Wolfman movie, yeah. but the problem is nobody fucking saw it. Because a bunch Zero of fucking people. idiots. And it had Hugo. All you people up. And it had Hugo Weaving, Anthony Hopkins, Benicio del Toro. No, <laughs> you make a Dracula. You make a Wolfman movie. You release it during the what time? I don't know. How the fuck a ween? 
<laughs> uh, I think that's what? two on the nose. When, re- when was the mummy released? <laughs> Watch. What, uh, the, which one? July? July. Oh, yeah, that makes one, sense. He, yeah, the Tom yeah. Cruise right. one. No, no, let's. All right. What else? What other Cruise popcorn. Spider Man. Right. Fucking. So, why not release it during Halloween? Make it a scary. Because <laughs> it wasn't a horror movie. Because it wasn't a fucking and horror movie. A, a, you, I've you seen know, the mummy. Ain't that horror, scary, that DJ, movie? Yeah. <laughs> that is where I'm going with this. That is the property. <laughs> It is a horror. It's a classic horror film. You don't want to make it into like an action movie with Tom Cruise. That makes no fucking sense. And the only movies that come out, out of all the movies throughout the year, Halloween, there's really not that many. You know, like it, it's there's not a lot of horror movies anymore that come out during Halloween. No. This is a couple that well, there are, you'll never hear suck. of ever again. But if you <laughs> release a mummy movie, universal mummy movie or a Dracula movie, a fucking near Halloween. Oh, and it's a horror movie? Fuck off. Should have had Blumhouse do it. Fuck Blumhouse. Blumhouse. What do you mean? Oh, What's Blumhouse? I'm surprised you know that. Blumhouse has done nothing but good things, man. Blum I'm, 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 so, that's just no, no. I'm, you got it. All the, God. all of his movies have been good. I know, because there's a bunch oh. of fucking Didn't tweeners. There's a bunch split? of fucking tweens that are going to watch this shit. Fuck them. What are you talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't Blumhouse do Split? Did he? Didn't Blumhouse do Get Out? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I don't think he had a lot to do with I think you're, I think you're thinking of the old Blumhouse. What are you talking about? They're at every fucking premiere. They're right there. He's producing the Fuck movies. Fuck Jason Blum. He's the one that brought... He did the, Blumhouse did the fucking visit. That's, Blumhouse, the, more like... They brought Shyamalan back Trump from the House. fucking dead. <laughs> oh, I think you're just thinking of the first Blumhouse movies, but you're not realizing that all these. Re- I think Blumhouse is on a fucking roll. No, they make I mean, movies for like okay, five hours. I thought it was like eighty million back. You guys, like that. you guys, I think you guys don't get it. I thought it was Blumhouse. Maybe no, I'm maybe wrong. I'm I'm wrong. Th- I know Blumhouse. Did all wrong. I don't give a shit. You don't. You don't put Kurtzman in a fucking Universal movie. No, first off, you don't oh. put. Yeah, you don't put Kurtzman. Kurtzman's the problem. The only thing that would have been better about that movie is <laughs> he's that they connected with the whole Lost universe or like Fringe universe or something like that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, no, that's not a thing. That, that's what. It, <laughs> <laughs> is there, is there, I can't keep track of all these universes. Too many universes. <laughs> it's too many universes. <laughs> can't keep. I feel track like it was the universes. upside down and the fucking thing and get out in the in the, in the darkness. <laughs> thing. I feel like I'm drinking tea right, right they, now. Okay, Blumhouse did Paranormal Activity. They did oh, the Sinister them. movies. Yeah. They did Dark Skies, Lord of Salem, The Purge movies, Insidious movies, uh, Oculus, Ugh. Mercy, Ugh. Whiplash. Whiplash, yeah. Ouija. Oh, okay, I so, like whip. So, Whiplash. Yeah, yeah, it's Whiplash, the, the motherfucker. The, gi- the gift. Yes, the gift. The visit. Sinister Two. Green Inferno. Uh, Jim and the Holograms. Uh, <laughs> martyrs. The Mummy. They did during, Martyrs. They did during the time Wonder Woman. They came. did Split. They did Get Out. They did the Belko Experiment. They've been doing good movies recently. Okay, they've been okay recently. So, it can't be worse <laughs> than fuck the, the fucking Universal's matter. doing. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't fucking matter. If you're not going to do what the property is, okay, no one gives a... F- I, I, no one cares. No one cares. It doesn't matter. All right, I don't all care. Right. Okay, do you care about this? I don't care. Do you care about this? Mario animated oh. film by, by the people who made the Minions. Can you dig it? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Whatever. good. Mario? Like, like Super Mario? Like fucking Super Mario animated film. Oh, I'm- why by not? illumination. I like that. Hey, why not? Uh... <laughs> Go into your Italian accent, Justin, and sell me on this movie. It's a fucking. It's the fucking greatest thing ever. <laughs> Come on, you gotta go fucking down the street when you can go to the fucking movie theater and see a fucking real Italian on the fucking screen, seeing the motherfucking princess. Come on, you fucks. Now, if Mario was like a like a like a like a, like a dirty, the swearing Italian plumber, oh, I'd watch the fuck out of that yeah. movie. <laughs> oh, she's in another fucking castle for her. <laughs> Fuck me! I'll make you an offer. Hey, you gotta the make fucking turtle over there. <laughs> Who put that fucking the turtle over there? On my daughter's <laughs> wedding, I'm gonna watch the Mario Kart too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there was already a, um, the first Mario movie was an animated film. I don't think and, I've ever seen um, it. I don't yeah, think it's it's online. You can let me find it for you. Was, was it a TV yeah. movie? <laughs> a made-for-television movie? <laughs> it was on Lifetime or Hallmark Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. ABC All right, plus. so how, how about this? But it was, it was good. How about this then? Uh, Avengers trailer. 
Can you dig it? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking adventure. Hey, remember the conversation <laughs> we had, DJ? I, I know how this is going to go. I, I know. This is we know who's going to die. Do we know who's going to die? I think we know who's going to die. I think we have a guy on bail who's going to die. Iron Man's going to die. Who's going to die? Iron Man. Iron Man's going to die. Tony Are we taking bets here? Are we taking bets who's dead? I think it's either going to be him. going to be him. He's going to sacrifice himself with a fucking team. What about Cap? You don't think Cap's dying? Nah, we need Cap. I know. I you know. You, Cap, you got hey, Bucky in the wings. I know you got. I know you got a Spider-Man movie coming up. But why not Spider-Man? Spider-Man can't die. You got a Spider-Man movie coming up. I know, but <laughs> still, you, you've answered your crazy. own question. But <laughs> you fucking stupid. It could die. Hey, hey, you. Hey, you. Spider-Man could die and be brought back. Yeah, you can say about Miles Morales. Spies. You can't kill t- fucking Tom Holland. And you can, one, oh, one you can do that. You can kill, no, you kill Peter Parker off. You bring in Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. You just got a good Peter Parker for the first uh, time ever. You're going to kill him in fucking two movies? Come on, get yeah, up. Yeah, you are. You're going to fucking fuck kill. You're going to fucking <laughs> kill Peter Parker in here. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're talking about. Bring in the motherfucking here, Miles okay. Morales. <laughs> you crazy. You fucking crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. I'm fucking crazy. I think okay, Matt, Matt, not Matt, be part two. Matt has all his money on Spider-Man apparently dying, but you think everyone's gonna die? Okay, it was called Super Mario Brothers: Mission to Save. <laughs> no, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I think Super Mario's gonna die here. <laughs> Super Mario's dead. All right, how about this Super- then? If you guys don't give a shit about Avengers, uh, no, more I, importantly, I thought, we were, uh, no, I thought we were having a raw looking conversation. <laughs> You're a cool, rocking conversation. Yeah, it's out. Whatever. Uh, Fox and Disney talks are back on. Can you dig that? Get this man a Whatever. beer. <laughs> you know. Speaking of the you... Disney uh, streaming service, if they buy Fox, they get all of their animated shows, all well, of their television Fox? shows. So they get the Simpsons. Fox is going to come out. Yeah, they get uh, the Simpsons. They get Family Guy. They get fucking the Orville. Futurama, they get fucking Lethal Weapon. American they get every, Dad. They, Mary with, oh, chi- Mary with Children they get. They get everything. Fox yeah, is gonna in living rich. color, in living color is in, owned they, by Disney. Oh, they at this get the point. House of Buggin' with John Leguizamo. They get all of FX's shows. Simpsons. Justify the Americans. They get Louie. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All right. Too soon. <laughs> they get all baskets. Right. <laughs> they get baskets. Yeah. They get. They get. They, they get, get always they get sunny. They get Archer. They get terriers. <laughs> Why do you remember Terriers? <laughs> hey guys, there used to be this show called Terriers. Not Matt, a, tell not about Terriers. Terry remembers it. <laughs> the Quinn Man keeps on coming in Terriers. Quinn Man keeps on coming. I love Donald Lohan. He's awesome. He's cool. Like he's, 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 what what he's, else do they get? They get what, Gotham. What? They get Gotham. Oh, they get How Millennium. <laughs> We're just going to name old shitty so Fox man. shows. How is Gotham going to work? Dizzy's going to own Gotham? Ooh, that's fucking... That's crazy. That's what a, weird, what a right? World they we would live own in. Gotham. What a world. Ooh. What a world we live in. Wow. <laughs> they, would, they, they would prevent Batman from ever being... Disney would prevent Batman from ever being on television. Forever. <laughs> because they would own their, their television rights to Batman. Cool. Well, I, have, I have a funny I like feeling that. in the future. I have a funny feeling in the future. Oh. They're going to own DC. <laughs> <DC's gonna laughs> oh, oh, go to Disney soon. <laughs> it's going to be like when WWF bought WCW. Oh, like, what oh the fuck my is God. Going Can you on? imagine? What was that fucking... comic book with the crossover? Yeah. The oh, M- fucking Marvel Al- Amalgam or whatever. Shit. Yeah. That's going to happen soon. Watch. You'll see. I'm imagining oh, a scene God. just like when Vince McMahon bought WCW. He's like, I've got your company in my <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking Mickey just just wearing a suit, yeah. strutting around fucking the ring. It. <laughs> Got that strut walk. Yeah, strut walk. <laughs> no chance. No chance. No of chance hell. of hell. Huh? This has been. Can you dig it? If you came here for a serious look at the issues, you came to the wrong place. Are you still on hold with uh? Uh, yeah, what up, Tom? Thank you for calling Costco. Oh, he's com. back. There you go. Are you calling about a Costco.com order <sighs> you've already placed? Press 1. You already you placed? <laughs> for order status, press 1. To cancel or request, please enter your order number followed by the pound sign. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. This is great. I feel talking. like, I feel like this know, is like uh, an interview to the last album. Within the first hour after ordering, Simply go to Costco.com, sign oh, she, she in, and click on My Order. Bitch, we're closed. If this has hey, answered asshole. your question, we're please feel for today. free to hang up. <laughs> if you wish to speak with a Costco representative, 
Please Wait hold. Till tomorrow. And we'll be right with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Suck my dick. Let's do a little TV roundup. TV roundup. TV roundup. TV roundup. Justin hasn't watched anything. <laughs> hey, Justin. <laughs> Neither has Matt. <Yeah. laughs> what have you been watching lately on television? Oh, I've been watching Crew Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, you know was it good? Funny? I feel bad because I have not watched any of it. I, is it is, 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 I'm assuming it's just as good. No, this is what you want to do. Hmm. The last episode ended with Michael J. Fox. Essentially, don't watch this season. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, it's not so. It's, so it's not good. It gets it gets better toward the end, but it's a very slow. And most of the time, I was on my fucking phone. Oh, that's not good. It's 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 cheap. It feels like a Chinese knockoff. Really, yeah. Jeff, Larry David? You think Larry David's phoning it in a little bit? Well, some of it was just like, really, guys? Seriously, we're going down this route, or we're doing that, or. There was some like it felt like leftovers, like a little bit of like Thanksgiving leftovers that they were trying to like oh. reuse for the next Thanksgiving. The ham, the gl- the glaze on the ham is. You know what I'm talking anymore. about? Yeah, yeah and you're like I'm DJ. This is that. from last fucking Thanksgiving. What are you doing, man? <laughs> this potato salad is clearly spoiled. I don't know. What yeah, you're <laughs> it just it's it's really? nice that it's wow. back, but like, I don't need it. How many times can That's you make the same joke? I guess. Well, I, 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 you're the first person to say that I've, I've heard say it wasn't as good. Yeah, I thought about writing. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm kind of I actually haven't watched. I haven't even watched the last episode because like I it's the first time I was I was dying for Kirby and Tuesday to come back and there'd be like three Saturday, um, three Sunday night episodes that I just like just completely didn't watch and didn't watch to right. you know, try to binge watch it and I was just wasting fucking time. Um, <laughs> Vice principles ended. Did I talk about that last time? I don't remember. You what talked you about that last it. time. You're the you're the vice. Pri- it ended you're though. The vice principles. It man. ended. Did it ended satisfyingly? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, standing over by Justin Pelosi. He's vice standing. In case, I mean, I know this isn't made for watch. TV, but he's standing. I like standing. I like the uh, first season. The second season was just wow. And and uh, who makes wow. show again? It, is it the guy that it's the guy for the who did Eastbound? Yeah, yeah. The same team. Yeah. yeah, David Gordon Green or something like that. Oh, there is it. Was, it was it was it was it was lovely, guys. It was actually I was refreshed. I I don't know why a lot of people. It's funny. I, I'm like the complete opposite. Apparently, the Caribbean enthusiasm uh, is getting all this uh, buzz praise. and praise, and vice principles. No one's talking about. And I'm like. This is the show people should be watching. It's a shame think, it's gone. I don't it's think done. people like a lot of. I don't think people like mean comedy. That's the problem oh, with a lot of people. There was so much. There was some funny. There was some funny shit, shit in it. Though. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, think, it was no, no. great. A lot of people Did were you like watch her. it. Uh, I saw the whole first season. I saw a little of the second, and it's like a complete oh. departure from the first season because it turns it into is, a. But uh, it's it turns into a so fucking out. revenge story. <laughs> It's so crazy, <laughs> it's and it gets crazy. better and better with every episode. And you're like, "This is it's so it's you know they turned it to eleven, and it's yeah great." Um, so that was I really you should watch it, finish it if if you've seen the first uh, season. So I'm gonna yeah, finish yeah, it because it ends great. It it ends it ends really great. I mean, you know who it is. Um, it's quite obvious. It wasn't mm. a big secret, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because there's so much other good stuff that happened. Um, crushing. I finally. Uh, it's a crashing. No one knows. There's a show crushing, called crashing, crashing, crashing. I don't know. On uh, HBO. What's it called? Crashing. Crushing. What? Oh, I don't know. Crushing. crashing. I never heard of this. Who's in it? Well, oh, crashing. Um, oh, that's uh, with Pete Holmes. Crashing. Right? Pete Holmes. Yeah, Pete Holmes. Oh, crashing. Okay. There it is. Oh yeah, I've not seen this. No, I'm <laughs> not bad. Aware of this not show. bad. <laughs> yeah. I finished that first season. That wasn't bad, and uh, I'm waiting the uh, second season. Not too shabby. Uh, but I did TV, watch The Punisher, TV. but I'm not going to talk about it. I'll let you talk <laughs> about it. But let me say, Marvel, you did it again. You made the best season <laughs> I think I've ever watched of a lot of shows. So, 
We'll we'll get to uh, Mr. Pete Castiglione oh. in a little bit. I mean, I haven't watched any TV. I just streamed everything. But thank God for Punisher. Basic television is for Pikers. You know what? I, I started Matthew, working out, and I was watching The Punisher. Best thing to watch when you're yeah. working out. No, no oh it really God, you're, As much as you didn't murder somebody. <laughs> Stabbed like nine guys. The most motivating show to work out to, The Punisher. Oh, Punching they probably the won't face. even prosecute you. They'll be like, "Oh, he was watching The Punisher, Your Honor." Oh, oh the case when is season, season two? <laughs> when is season uh, two? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Matthew, what have Woo! you been watching? Um, apparently, I don't. I don't Woo! watch TV enough because I don't binge TV at all. No, no. You don't. You're, I, I'm you're one of those people that's like, guys. "Hey, I," you know, the old adage: "Good things come to those who wait," but. Everybody else who's a millennial is like, fuck you. You have to watch everything in a week or you're fucked and you're out of the loop. It's like, <laughs> damn, what a world we live well, in. Let, where... the, let the record state. It took me about two weeks for. for the well, I'm not even done with that. I'm only on. Ep- uh, when it comes to the Punisher, I'm on episode five right now. So I'll, woo! I'll get to it at some point. You're really savoring one, that. Woo, you're savoring that. One day, one, I mean, one day I'll get to it. I, I just don't feel the uh, compulsion to be woo! compulsive. I don't, I don't know. I don't, maybe it's something about me. I don't know. <laughs> nice way to put I don't that. know. I don't know. I mean, you know, everybody needs to, it's, we're on a 24 hour news cycle and, uh, Fuck you, Fox News, and fuck you, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, random. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so Punisher only uh, not even halfway through yet, but it's uh, been good. And uh, Broad City season four, it's actually better than season three. So go Broad City. Finally, oh, that's still on. Yeah, it's still on, and it's. I'm so happy that show's still on. Those, those girls need. Uh, They're good in this season. I, I, season three, season three never uh, let sucked. Me down. Season three was not a good season, in my opinion. I thought it was really. So you didn't I like remember that season. That. I, I, I loved season one and season one. two. Season three was a uh, down, really, really down. I'm sorry, but season sorry. four, I know it, it feel like a, no, I feel like I lost a me. loved one. Are you, are you doing better? Is everything? <laughs> yeah, better? I'm. I'm almost there. You know, I've been going to. Let going, me know. Uh, going to let sessions. me know if you need anything. Well, what do you want to give me? Some counseling for. I'm here for you. <laughs> How about some sessions on the couch? Uh, oh, yeah. The, uh, I've been watching couch. that on TV, too. Sessions on the couch. <laughs> it's been a good one. Oh, so yeah. Dark. Okay. So dark. Yeah, you can find that for free in a lot of places. Uh, Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. That, that <laughs> Stranger Things, that came out. I oh. Don't, I don't care, I don't care oh, about yeah, it. I forgot I about that. give two shits. Oh, it was... <laughs> Season two. You're the one. Oh, you're yeah, the one yeah, guy. the one guy who doesn't like it. Everybody put me on the fucking cross at this point because you know, you I know, hate like kids. kids. Season two. You don't like season two? I do. I, you do. I just don't kids. fucking care. Kids, man. I don't care. I don't care. Wow. All right, wow. here's my problem. All right, you want to hear the real problem I have with Stranger Things and. Matt doesn't like kids. The show's yeah, not about kids. Yeah. He doesn't like well, no, nostalgia. but it makes no sense because I like season one a lot. But season one was great. But why do I like season one? But why do I hate season two? It's such a weird thing. To me. I, I don't. I, it doesn't make. It makes sense. no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> I thought it was better. Uh, I think season two is way better than season one. I don't know. One. <laughs> but you know, I, think I feel like you're in the upside down world. Maybe I think you're the upside down. Maybe store. I'm the fucking uh, Gorgon demon. <laughs> Plus, you're Jewish, and that doesn't help. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, that's, that's never going to help bad. anybody, you know. <laughs> You're Dusty or Dustin. Hey, easy, point. guys. I got to go check something in the oven, okay? <laughs> never a bad time for another. Never game. a bad well, time. Uh... <laughs> but what I did like. So, I, I don't have... get it. Uh-huh. It's, it's over, everybody <laughs> said. Yeah. Uh, one, thing uh, one thing I did what like. One thing I did like. What did you watch? It was on HBO. It was good. Mm. It wasn't TV uh, though. Uh, it was that Spielberg documentary. Big, big lies. Spielberg. Oh, Ooh. I didn't get to watch the fucking amazing. Uh, another Jew. How was that? It made me cry. Was it was, it was it amazing? Was it called Another Jew or made you yeah, cry? Made it, yeah. Huh? It made me cry. The uh, the Punisher uh, made me cry. They, they, there's a certain part. <laughs> are they just doing a certain part in the uh, documentary where they uh, they're talking about Schindler's List and it made me fucking weep. Oh. Oh. Oh wow! Now I gotta watch that. Yeah, are, it, you, are they doing it for multiple people or just Spielberg? I don't know. It would be cool if I mean, yeah, they, that's a good question, DJ. Good question. Yeah, that's a good, a good question, question that needs a uh, more in-depth uh, research on it, perhaps. But uh, we need to Matt get our contact. Spielberg when he, and he walked away. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'll get right back to you. See you later. I gotta go back to watch Stranger <laughs> Things season two Did, again. Uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull come up in that? Oh wow! There was a scene of it, but it didn't really get brought okay. up. 
It was kind of a uh, bastard child. It goes all the way from. I wonder uh, why. It goes to. They talk a lot about duel. Uh, okay. Talk Great a lot movie. about Indiana Jones. Great they talk fun. about the you know the three Indiana Jones films. The only. Uh, oh, I've heard about those. Yeah, yeah they're pretty good. Yeah, you know, the fourth one's not I bad seen either. Them myself. Uh, oh really? Should I get that? Should I rent that? I think you Netflix? should. No, I think you should pass. I think pass, you should red box hard it. Hard pass. Hard pass. I think you should not box it. Oh, okay. <laughs> at all. I think you should hot box <laughs> it. Is it related hot to that Tomb Raider movie that's coming out? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. it's uh, it's in the same universe. Oh, okay. Oh, the Tomb Raider oh, Indiana Jones universe. Well, speaking of Walt and Goggins, the Raider interview. <laughs> yeah, they're both Raiders. <laughs> they're both Raider fans. Cool. Yeah, cool. It's, it's gonna be really good. Uh, oh, but yeah, learn something really good. new every day. Every single day. I, well, I, I watch two comic book shows because I'm a nerd. Uh, I watch nerd. you nerd. I hate comic book shows. Nerd. One show I can't binge because they won't let me, and it was called Runaways, based on Brian K. Vaughn's comic book. And it's made by the person that, and Matt will probably get this, that made the OC. So Why would I get that? I was kind of like, all right. Because <laughs> I watch the I OC? Time. No, no, because I watch the OC, and you used to make fun of me for you watching You fucking love the OC. The OC. The That's why you're a sucker for all I this shit. I used to love the OC. I'm a sucker for all of this shit, but it's a, it's essentially the OC with superpowers. But uh, oh. uh, I don't think Matt would like it because it does have child actors. It's Again, the those child actors are not as bad as I've seen in other shows. Are they as um, bad as Stranger Things? No, Stranger <laughs> Things actors are great compared to them. They're, I mean, th- th- I mean, these actors aren't bad, but I, I, I don't know what the hell you're seeing in Stranger Things where you think those child actors suck, because I think Millie Bobby Brown's awesome, and uh, I don't know his name, but the kid that plays Dustin is fucking like... They're both okay. The they're, they're, both, they're both fine. Pretty they're they're doing their job. Uh, but yeah, they, these child actors aren't that good. They're a little bit older. They, they're like teenagers, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I used to read the comic book, uh, the Brian K. Vaughn book, and then the Joss Whedon's run. I'm not a huge fan. I always thought it was, I think they were going to make that, the, before Iron Man came into play, that was the movie that Kevin Feige was going to do, and then somehow they went, they switched gears to from Runaways to Iron Man, and I always thought that it was a good story. It, it's it's done pretty well. I think it works better as a series. Only problem is I'm four, four episodes in, and they haven't run away yet, because in the comic book, it's like, immediately they're gone. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like, they're, they're, really, they're really milking the running away part. Huh? Yeah. They're really milking the, they're you kind need of, to get the hell out of their situation. Because it's such a, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's the contemplate running away because essentially the plot of the show is if you don't know Runaways is uh these kids from uh, uh these friends uh, childhood friends uh, uh, uh their parents uh, are all part of this uh, let's just say cult but they're ooh, essentially super villains. Are they Republicans? In the comic book they were all super villains and when the kids find out they run away uh, and they there uh, it is. you know try and figure out a way to stop their parents who are evil. It's kind of like uh, the, the show, show the descendants on Disney. Is, I never seen the Descendants. Do they movie. say? Do they say Runaways? We're Runaways, like 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 clear and the present last, danger. The, the last <laughs> episode that, that I just watched, uh, they did say Runaways. And then they look at the camera talking, and they go, "What are we just?" I got to run away. <laughs> he did look at the camera too. The main kid, uh, just a the, little the, runaway. The, the parents <laughs> sacrifice uh, children for, to this kind of god. Thing, oh, Republicans. And, what they they the children they get are runaways, huh. so they meant they the GLP. kids found out and they realized, oh wait, they're runaways, so they got to say the line. But the show is not bad. I mean, I think it's about to hit its stride. I think I, if I could binge it, it I I probably have a better take on where it's going to go because they are milking it. I would say one thing in the comic book, the parents are just stock evil. But on the show, they kind of give them more depth. And the guy from Alias, I forget his name, he has a kind of a weird quentin tarantino the one who was not bradley cooper uh the tech guy he plays one of the, the parents and he's fucking awesome <laughs> and, and it made me kind of like like the parents the, the this set this one set of parents that you like but in the comic book you don't give a shit about them because they're just all evil these parents essentially are kind of like they, they felt like they were co-opted into this evil cult so you kind of root from it's i think it's worth your time if you can get past the first episode you, you, you first episode you, not good like it uh, yeah, it's built to get you acclimated to these kids and the, the parents. Can I say something about Take a little bit of time in terms of like shows that require this whole thing about you have to get through seven episodes 
until you get to something really good. If you could binge it, it'd be fine. But because you have to wait week after week for the show well, to Matt happen, doesn't binge. to that point where it's like... I don't binge, so maybe this see, is perfect this, for me. I don't know. But it's... It, it, I think because it takes so long, it would be great if it was a binge. But because I can't binge, I have to keep waiting for them to run away, which I hope they don't string out He's to the last episode. But what would the be the difference season. between you binging it <laughs> but, uh, and it being slow and you watching week to week being slow? Because I'm not going to be held on the hook. I can get through it. Uh, it. The anticipation is not worth me. You're saying like if I had to wait a week to figure out the end of this cliffhanger, or I had to wait five seconds for the end of this cliffhanger. So when you go through five hours of continual watching not... of like torture, if it was really, really bad? Mm, it's like, uh, no, no, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, it's easy for me to quit a show if every Oh, it's show really easy for me to quit a is... show. I quit shows all the time. Well, you don't give a shit about much. I don't give a fuck about shit. <laughs> when it comes to the show, you, you, you quit a show fast. I'm like, I'm done. But if the show is kind of tedious, if the show is tedious, but I can watch the entire first season in one go, I might get through that season. But if the show is tedious and I got to wait for the next week to watch it, I'm like, nah, fuck this. I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not just, gonna do that. I'll move on to another I just, show. I just feel that so many comic book shows are kind of like that. It's like you never hear about a lot of stuff like with Breaking Bad or Mad Men, all these other like serious dramas and stuff like that. They're pretty good from first episode all the way to the very end with all this other stuff like well there's one show what which one no i was, I was gonna say there's one show that uh binging or week by week would have worked and justin mentioned it earlier and it's called the punisher what's that <laughs> and it's fucking awesome <laughs> That show is fucking just a little independent awesome. show. And well, you know what? You, you, you guys, were, you, were you guys saying... can spoil it right now if you want. Actually, I won't spoil it. I, 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 kind, of, I kind of accidentally I mean, spoiled myself talk about... anyway. So, no. well, the the good thing about the Punisher show is I don't really need to spoil it because the great thing about it is the characters are fucking awesome. John Bernthal was a given. Uh, he is the Punisher. Um, we knew that after Daredevil season two. I was very impressed by the guy who plays Microchip because I was. Microchip! Like, this guy? Yeah. He, uh, uh, Michael, Microchip. Yeah. You call him. Microchip. Uh, last time I saw him, Micro. he was on a show called Last, Last <laughs> Ship, and it was, you know, he was kind of a bad guy. But I, when, I, when I, I had to get in my mind what Micro would look like, and he looks. I always thought Dennis Nedry, because Dennis Nedry did play him, yeah, fucking yeah, more yeah. so. Dennis Nedry would be Micro. <laughs> I was surprised, too. I was, looking, I was really surprised how good looking his wife was. He, oh, yeah. It, that too, and uh, his his chemistry with Bernthal is probably why he got the job because he has such good chemistry. I think with my him. favorite part of that um, show is the sandwich scene. The sandwich scene is that and the drunk scene. There's a scene I don't know if you've gotten to that part yet so. where they're both drunk. Yeah, they're both drunk in the in the in their lair essentially, and they're just talking. And it's just I mean. Most people I've heard criticize the show is it's so dark, it's so depressing. It's the fucking and I'm like, Punisher. Well, it's the Punisher, dude. What the fuck are you expecting? Goddamn clowns and balloons? What the fuck are you talking about? And then I said somebody else that says, well, I want, I want the Punisher. Why is he not punishing people? I'm like, well, that's called character development, asshole. What, did I you mean, see the first episode? If he killed that's what he's people, doing in the first like, 15 minutes. Punish your mother. <laughs> I, think, I think because they take their time with it. And it, it, to me, it's not boring. But again, I have an attention span. But... Uh, because oh, <laughs> burn. Yeah, yeah. Fuck everybody else. I Whoa. have an attention span. It's it's something to be coveted, not Jeez. shamed. Pay a fucking attention. Have a goddamn patience. <laughs> anyway, I, the fact that they draw out the violence to when so when the violence does come, it's such a cathartic moment, Matthew. When you get to when he begins to punish people in the way you're used to, mm. it's so good. It's like holy shit. But I think if it was every episode like that, it would get tiring after a while. So them taking their time with it, I think works. Yeah, so cool with that. and the way it ends, and Justin's talking about uh, you know, how they're gonna if they're gonna make another one, it ends in such a way where they don't ever have to make another one. No. But if they do, I'll welcome it. It ends on such a perfect note in season two needs to be he's going after the Spider Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna see that fucking I wanna <laughs> see that the, shot from the comic book. They'll never cry. He, the thing, the other thing about the Punisher, they don't. He Never doesn't require any Marvel anything. Oh no, it's no, great at all. <laughs> I mean, it's great if he's there. The only person I would the want to put in the Punisher, of it. Oh. the the only one I'd ever want to put in the Punisher show is Kingpin. That's it. Yes, I don't need yeah. Spider Man. I don't need Iron Man. I don't need that needs to happen people. though. I have a feeling it will happen. 
hopefully. Because in Daredevil season two, the, the the scene with Kingpin and and and, and Frank Castle is fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so more of that. But I mean, they're kind of. I think they're saving uh, Kingpin with Daredevil. That's kind of his boy. And you got Bill. Is it Ben Barnes? Ben Barnes is the is. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's a spoiler, Matthew. Spoiler, uh, spoiler. Well, he is the jigsaw. The jigsaw. Yeah. So if you didn't know that already, yeah. I kind of knew from the name when I heard it's all bit, uh, the butte, whatever. Yeah, so you can go that, by the name. I mean, like, his his face gets a little fucked up. Yeah. Right. So, but yeah, I mean, bit. the Punisher's Rogues Gallery is, pr- I mean, pretty. You can go different ways with with that. I, 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 again, I can see other seasons. The Punisher's Rogues again, Gallery is they, everybody, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, essentially, everybody. <laughs> I mean, he's killed the Marvel Universe for Christ's sake. But anyway, he he, he the way they ended it. Is such a good way that there there's a scene at the end of the, sh- the of the final the final shot of the whole season. Yeah, it's so good. It could just walk in the sunset, stay as a standalone. I'll be fine with it. I don't need to see another Punisher show for they take their time with it. I don't need it. Well, we aren't going to see they, it they until it Disney perfect. puts their own streaming service out. Oh, I, I disagree. So. I need it right away. I mean, I it'd be I, it. again if you give it get to it me. To I'm, me. I'm, it's like it's like having a great steak, right? I don't, need, the ne- I don't need another great steak I'll eat it. I'll right eat two now. I... <laughs> I'm going to steak right up my ass. Pig. You're a fucking pig. <laughs> I am. I'm a fucking pig. <laughs> fucking greedy. That's why I'm taking my time with the but Punisher. No, but That's why I'm only on episode five. No, no, save her, save her, save her. But I mean, it really washed away the horrible taste in my mouth that was left by Iron Fist. Der- Defenders didn't Ugh. kind of fixed it but it wasn't as good. I, I, I still he was there so it's still kind of hurting me punisher it's just standalone and it's great and i miss her continuity i love people crossing over and stuff but this one didn't need it it was so good and john bernthal it didn't have didn't any, really. enough credit i mean the, the uh karen page is about yeah, as much it. crossover that's, as that's it, yeah that's what the crossover really show. get i mean it's good. And their relationship i think they're really building that relationship strong so if they do make a second season and she shows up again. It's earned. Again, I don't want to have Spider Man in that shot because Spider Man doesn't work in the Punisher <laughs> universe. It's too dark. No. They're killing people in ways where Spider Man. Like, no, I want the last the last shot. That's what I want. A Punisher. When season two comes, and let's say season two is the last one, mm. you know that last shot. He's like, I go and on to the next guy, and you see like Spider Man swinging. He gets oh, in that'd his be, man, and he see, follows that'd be after. Good. Him. You know? Now I don't. I, if they make a Moon Knight series and Moon Knight has crossover with the Punisher Ooh. before, I wouldn't mind that. That would be cool. I just want uh, Moon Knight. But I mean, just give again, me a Moon Knight show. Moon Knight would be a very. I think. And again, we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna hear anything about a Punisher season two. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Until Disney shores up this yeah, Disney streaming service, because I think yeah. that's what they're waiting for. Uh-huh. And maybe this Fox deal. Once they get everything oh. done there, because if you get the Fox deal, then you can have Punisher Wolverine. You can have Ooh. a whole bunch of good stuff. Mm. Oh, you <laughs> so, give me a hard on. I mean, oh yes, <laughs> feel this dick. Give me a whole bunch of good stuff. But... <laughs> feel these nipples. Feel these nipples. <laughs> oh, feel these nipples. <laughs> But yeah, Punisher's awesome. If again, it's not for everyone, and I think they're very respectful on the violence. Uh, I, I know everybody was kind of, you know, after the shootings in Vegas and stuff like yeah. that, they were like, "Are they exploiting it?" And it's done in such a classy, not classy, as classy it's, as it's violent. Violence they is don't fucking exploit violence. it. It's not. Uh, come on, right? No. It's not done to like. It's, it's not good. like Punisher War Zone. Not Lexi good. Alexander's Punisher because that's exploited. That shit's over that, the that fucking movie, top. Which was, which was what they they were going for, which is fine. But if that were, let's say. If Punisher the series was like that, then people would have be an uproar. But this one, it treats it very like the violence. People get hurt. People get hurt really, really bad. But it's not Frank gets shot done about two, or, two or three times. Yeah, yeah, but it's not done in a way where you're like <laughs> shot every episode really like twenty times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Punisher has a healing factor. I, I, I'm convinced. I, I don't want to be that guy's skin. That's that's for sure. <laughs> Jesus, and boy, don't be in any earshot. First off, if, if you're having a problem trying to find out where the Punisher is, just listen. Because yeah. in every scene, he's, he's, fucking, <laughs> he's got that roar he down, him, man. I'm so, not going to die. <laughs> Cappuccino. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Sir. But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, Punisher's great. Runaways is, I think, Runaways is worth a, uh, a shot. Give it a shot. And uh, Have you, have you been watching um, that Gifted show? I have been watching the Gifted Show, and I'm surprised how not Gifted bad it is. is. Uh. It's 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 better than 
It's it's better than Iron is Fist. It's better than uh, what was the other show on FX? Uh, the other one. Which one? The oh Legion. No, no, no. It's not better than Legion. Legion's awesome. Ec- Gifted is okay. It's just not awful. There's it's just, kind of there's just too much. Going is it better than the DC it's stuff that's coming out right now on I, TV? Uh, I think Titans. it's better. It's better than Supergirl. It's better than um. Better than uh. It's better, better than, than Legends of Tomorrow. I don't think it's better than Arrow. It's not better than Flash. It's not better than Le- Legends of Tomorrow. But it's. I think because Justin's right. There's so much shit happening. I think they need to focus it in a little Still bit. Their fucking because role. They have great characters out. Yeah, I mean Blink is great. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Warpath. He's cool. All, all these people are in gifted. Just, Warpath and Blink. Yeah, Polaris is pretty cool. Oh, so it's like so it's I like X Factor. There's... Kind of, yeah. This, uh, the, the, they're on the run a lot. It, it, it's okay. It's it's. I think I was had my expectations so low. I was like, this is gonna suck. And it was not. I mean, the girl who plays Polaris is is awesome. And the girl who plays Blink, I think that's the girl from Sucker Punch. I believe she's also pretty good. So but it, it's also uh-huh. worth your time. It's uh, worth. Uh, Mally, I think her name is Amy Ackerman. I think her name. She's from uh, Angel, and uh, she's and she's like a Joss Whedon girl. She's been a, a bunch of stuff, Dollhouse and stuff. She's the mom, and she doesn't really have powers. But every episode is kind of like her kids are mutants, so it's kind of like you two, you can't go in there, you can't go in there. It's like every fucking episode that kind of gets monotonous after a while. Oh, that I think gets they need annoying. to just focus it up, make a big bad, let them deal with the big bad. But it's you know, it's network, so you ha- you, you got to kind of deal with some of some of that, that silly shit i mean it's on it's gotham i'm sure oh fuck gotham uh let's take a break and we'll play a game <laughs> i've tried <laughs> he's it's still tried not the, that useful <laughs> he's tried to fuck gotham it didn't work i tried <laughs> check out the blueprint review podcast at blueprintreview.co.uk this well, could be interesting yeah. because i know we've got some very diverse people. i'm going to be arguing with darren a lot I like, think it's going to be me v you lot with I, Baby Laura yeah. sat in the middle. I think I'm well, to, to, to be honest, I think it's about expectation. Yeah. Like, I think... Yeah, I expected it to <laughs> The boys constantly look for any opportunity to do horrible impressions. No segment affords them that opportunity more than this one. It's simply quotable. Uh, simply quotable. This is where we uh, give each other a quote from a movie, and the person we give the quote to has to guess the movie. First one to three wins. And, uh, for example, if I oh. say to Ooh. Matt, "Bitches leave," he would say, uh, "Unaccompanied minors." Oh Christ, RoboCop, and then <laughs> <laughs> he would get the point. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Never Apparently, mind. Apparently, I don't know my RoboCop <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck is RoboCop? Oh my god! All right. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Justin Joel first. Joel RoboCop. Justin's gonna go to Matthew first <laughs> uh, next, and then Matthew will go to me, and then we'll reverse. All right. All right. Are you ready? Throw it in uh, reverse uh, for ready. first. Uh, there we go. All right. No, no, I never get physical. I just get upset. When I get upset, <laughs> he gets physical. I want to say. Is it is it back to school? That is correct. Right. Bing, Bing, Bing. Okay. Damn. Very no, good. I would, I would not have gotten that. Lurker. Very at all. good. I was a hard one too. I would too. not have gotten that. <laughs> hey, Lou, what the hell are you doing? Get, get my ass kicked all over the place. <laughs> all right, Justin goes to Matthew. Then Matthew goes to me, and then I go back to Matthew. All right. <laughs> so Justin has one point. All right. So Justin, you, you go. All right, ready. All my quotes are the last line in the movie. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. no, we're never going to well, get anything. I never, I never see it to the end of any movie, so I'm fine. The war is still coming, Charles, and I oh, intend to fight it by I any means necessary. Word. Christ, you better get this right. <laughs> the war is still coming, Charles? Okay. Uh, He's giving you the answer. He's giving it to you. I know, but there's... You got to get it. You got to get the right oh, one, yeah, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's okay, the say, thing say, the, say the quote again. Say the quote again. Say the quote again. They multiply. Give, give the quote to year. Matthew again. I was talking over it. Give, give it to him again. Ah, sure, right, sure, right. Sure, sure. The war is coming, Charles. I intend to fight it by any means necessary. It's it's got to be the first X Men. Ding yeah. ding ding, motherfucker! Yeah. Yeah. Some people might have said Cause... apocalypse. 
Yeah, it's true. I was going through my fucking mind. I was like, there's a lot of X Men movies. Yeah, Magneto says that line a couple times in two different versions of himself. He does. Motherfucker. (laughs) Fucking motherfucker. motherfucker. All right, so Matthew has a point. Just has a point. Let's see me fuck this up. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're the, we're the pointer sisters. You want an easy one or a well, hard Matthew one? goes to me, and then I go back to Matthew. And, well, yeah, uh, hey, okay. yeah, you want an easy one or a hard one? Uh, I, of course I'm going to say easy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> See, a lot a lot of my quotes are, like, really long. Like, they're, like, soliloquies almost. Oh, so. right. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's okay, I'll give you an easy one, okay? Okay, right, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. Okay. What I'm gonna to do to make it a little harder is omit a name in the okay, quote, though. Okay. See if he's still there. Okay. I'll get you your money, but you're never gonna to live to enjoy it. You let me worry about that. Here's the deal. I want you to deliver money yourself. You're one hell of an optimist. What in the world makes you think I'm gonna deliver the money myself? Any idea yet? Uh, say it one more time. <laughs> Well, I I'm, well I... I'm going to keep going with the quote. The quote okay, okay. continues. Okay. Okay. Well, I if think you don't, I you'll... I might be wrong. Huh? I, I well, if you I don't, you'll never see little Johnny again. Don't come home from the fight last night, did he? He's a good-looking kid, but I think you indulged him too much. I told him so. Bullshit. You haven't got him. You wouldn't be that stupid. Anything yet? Oh, God. <laughs> I think I got it. Is it okay. payback? Yo, he got it. <laughs> I was like, Mel fucker. Gibson, is it ransom or is it payback? Is it ransom or is it payback? <laughs> yeah. It's payback. <laughs> yeah, the next line was, uh, my dad never bought me a Ferrari. I had to steal my first one. You know what my favorite line from that movie is? I'll make this last two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> by Chris Christopherson. I'll give, a, I'll give you a blood transfusion. I'll give you a fucking blood transfusion. That's some real shit right there. I'll make this last two weeks. <laughs> I was just watching that tonight. Give me a fucking, uh, it's a great film. No, that's one of the films that I like the theatrical version better than the was the uh, the straight up version or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, I didn't like that one. Yeah, that was, I didn't uh, like that one. I, I prefer the better. theatrical one because Christopher Stavros is not in that one. I was like, Christopher Stavros is fucking awesome in no. that movie. It's like anyway, no right. are just like stumbling through the street at the end of the movie. <laughs> it's like this is the end. All right, uh, <clears throat> like every movie. So everybody has one point. First of three wins. Here we go. We're all Matthew, got points. This is a pretty easy one. All right, ready. <clears throat> oh, thanks. So who talks first? You talk first? I talk first? Just hard to understand you with all the apparatus. Okay, well, that's uh, Force Awakens. Hey, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I, like your little, easy uh, I like your little thing at the very end where it's like, oh, that, Because uh, he, he gets, gets yanked goes, away. Okay. He goes, the apparatus. <laughs> That's that's like I felt like I was in the movie just now. You were, I was I was a little channeling Oscar Isaac there. I felt like I was I was Kylo Ren and you were Oscar Isaac. That was the first line of that line is the first I time I realized the movie was going to be good. When I was like, okay. They well, you know, to be honest with you, nobody likes that funny like. stuff in Star Wars movies though. So. Oh yeah, f- f- it's fun. What's fun? Fuck it. I'm gonna I be more see who and dark. Put that. Who, who 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 like is saying that? Don't let me fucking find him. All right, okay. Matthew has two points. <laughs> I have one point. Justin has one point. Matthew's going to Justin here. Justin can tie up Matthew with a correct answer. Here we go. Okay, okay here we go, Justin. Pressure's on. Okay, here we go. It's going to be, like I said, all these uh, quotes are going to be uh, long kind of narratives. <laughs> stories. He's oh. giving you stories. Oh, I got a long one if you want a long one. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a long one. I got a long quote. I got it. So that was a long quote. All right. But in this one, I'm also going to omit names to not make okay, it a little bit harder. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Why? Okay. Why did you kill my mother? Why? Why? You hear that? You hear that, Sue? I think she wants a motive. Do you know it so far? I know what this is. I know what this is. Damn it, I can't guess. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. You want me to keep going? Can you do it again? Okay. Oh, yeah, keep going. You want me to keep going or repeat that one? Keep going. Okay. Well, I don't believe in mo- motive, Sid. I mean, did Norman, Ma- Norman Bates have a motive? No. Did we ever find out why Hannibal Lecter would like to eat people? Don't think so! See, it's a lot scarier when there's no motive, Sid. We did your mom a favor, Sid. That one was a slut bag whore flashing shit all over town like doing Sharon Stone or something. So easy. He's giving you the answer. He gave you the answer. <laughs> he gave it to you. He <laughs> gave it to you. 
get fresh. I'm gonna do that again. What? Come on! Well, I'll, I'll just Come keep on. going yeah. with the dead. I'm a little. I think Justin just wants me, wants me to read the entire. <laughs> he just wants you to read it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit names, man. You're dropping names. The, 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 I knew it for the. God damn it. I fucked up because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna put names in, but I got too deep. As soon as you dropped the nails, like, oh, there's yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. answer. Yeah. The Sharon Stone name. Yeah, the Sharon. A few Stone other names name too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put her out of her misery because let's face Sydney, <laughs> your mother was no Sharon Stone. Hmm. Okay, come on, you have to know what it is now. Super easy. Come on, <laughs> come on, Polizzi. I want to say casino, but oh, is that your final answer? <laughs> is that your final answer? Are you? I don't. I don't. Is is? <laughs> I can't. What steal you, it. I thought you. I thought. I thought you were taking the names out. I, yeah, put names I know. I, I thought I was you going to, up. but then I. I'm like drunk, and I'm, I couldn't do. I couldn't take the names. Out. I just. I'm a little confused. It, it feels like casino, <laughs> but I'm not. I'll say casino. Wow! I can't steal this. I could if I could steal this, I would. Fuck. I don't know. It's, it's I don't casino. Know. Your, okay, I'll do the last line it's, of the it's, scene. It's casino. Your final answer. Wait, okay, it's casino. Your final answer. Do you want to hear the last line no, of the scene? No, it's not. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you the. Just, I'm going to skip all the way to the end and give you the last line of the scene. Admit the names. <laughs> Stop saying the name. <laughs> okay, well, this one doesn't have. Okay, I'll admit the names here. Say, oh. This is the greatest fun. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. That scene was almost. Give up, Polizzi. Give up, Polizzi. (laughs) Give up. What was the first? Kill your mother. What was it? Uh, so, like, somebody's listening this way. I don't believe it. Kill my mother. <laughs> you're, you're, you're looking at the most like innocuous line in the entire scene. <laughs> He's why why did you, you kill my mother? It could be any movie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want fun? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Someone listening to this is fucking ripping their hair out right now. <laughs> you want me to kill him? What was it? <laughs> Make a guess, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was the last line? One more time. What was the last line? Okay, I'm gonna read a deadpan. Then <laughs> fuck it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest fun. You're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. It's a scream, baby. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> if you can... <laughs> here's I'm a clue. Change the rules here's, of this here's game. a clue. It sounds like the room. <laughs> this podcast sounds like, sounds like the fucking room. <laughs> is that is the room your final answer? No, I don't think it is. It's not. It's, 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 this is the greatest find. <laughs> here, here, here's it. Here's the last hint we'll give you, and then you have to make a guess, okay? He said the name, the answer in the quote. Yeah, the last quote. <laughs> in the had whole the quote, name. the answer was the Sharon Stone name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. All right, you're at wrong. You're correct. The answer was scream. You son of a bitch. <laughs> scream? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> So I'm trying said, to think, uh, man. I'm trying to think of all these different things. And, I don't know. Go fuck yourself. Cindy, There's a lot of shit going he's on. He's talking right about now. it's a scream. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to get the. Audio. You know what? Fuck you. I got a fucking quote for you guys. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Now he's gonna you give me the hardest quote in the history of the world. Yeah. Yeah. You'd you be like, who, "Am I going, hey, next? man? You're go. You're going next. Yeah, go this ahead. Is my give it. Fuck you. Quote. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Oh, who am, who's this to? to? This is to, to me. the fucker right there. <laughs> I, should do, I should do it to. Uh, I'm gonna read the whole fucking thing. <laughs> now that I'm near the end, I'm glad that Man's Magazine paid me to tell my story. Writing it has helped me sort it all out. They're paying me five cents a word, so you're parting me. 
if sometimes I've <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You gotta you wait, wait. No. You gotta read the quote right now. <laughs> I can't. That's how they did it in the audition. <laughs> we'll start over again, please. Now that I'm near the end, I'm glad that this man's magazine paid me to tell my story. Writing it has helped me sort it all out. They're paying me five cents a word. So you'll pardon me if sometimes I've told you more than you wanted to know. But now all the disconnected things seem to hook up. That's the funny thing about going away. Knowing the date, you're going to die. And the men's magazine wanted me to tell you how that felt. Well, it's like pulling away from, from the maze. Fucking <laughs> I got the movie with the guys. <laughs> While you're in the maze, you go through willy-nilly, turning where you think you have to, banging into the dead ends, one thing after another. But you get some distance on it. And all those twisted turns, why? The shape of the life of your life. It's hard to explain. But seeing it whole gives you some peace. The Man's Magazine also asked about remorse. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry about the pain I cause other people, but I don't regret it. Not a thing. I used to. I used to regret He's being so the barber. <laughs> Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> I didn't know where I'm being taken. I don't know what I'll find beyond the earth and sky, but I'm not afraid to go. Maybe the thing I don't understand will be clear there. <laughs> like when a fog blows away, maybe doors will be there. And maybe there I could tell all those things they don't have words for here. Wow. What is it, DJ? <laughs> you fucks. What? I mean, dude, you essentially did the la the final act of the fucking movie. <laughs> you know what movie it was? <sighs> um, can you read again? For me? <laughs> <laughs> it's the man who wasn't there, two thousand one. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the that. the actual one. I'm ready. Go ahead. This confession has meant nothing. This confession has meant nothing. This confession has meant nothing. This is easy. This is something uh, you know. You know this one. I know this one. This confession you know this one. has meant you know nothing. It. This is a famous last line in a movie. It's on the tip of my brain. Is it American Psycho? Ding, ding, motherfucker. Ah! Good job. Good pool. <laughs> Whew, that was rough. I've only seen that movie once. All right. Um, really? Yes. Only well, once. And I, I stayed with started. you. I've seen the. I've seen the. Uh, hey, Paul. Seen like yeah, four hundred fifteen like, times. You've seen several scenes a lot of times, but not many the movie times. All the way it's through. just straight through. I just. I don't. I remember the the, the cat. Hey, just don't look push, at it. Eat the, it. Eat it. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So it's <laughs> two one two. I believe. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you, can, you can tie it up right here, Justin. You can tie it up right yeah, here. Yeah, you got here. it. You got this in the bag. This is, a, this is, a, this is a, an easy one, too. Are you ready? Yeah. Easy. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Fuck. Even in the future, nothing works. I wish I wish it was back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. In the future, the future nothing works. works. <laughs> that, that would have been. That would have been great. Um, I, I think I know what it is. I'm um, gonna give it to you one more time. Yes. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Fuck! Even in the future, nothing works. Yeah, it is. It's a comedy. <laughs> um, <laughs> spaceballs. You could tell by my tone that it was a comedy. <laughs> it's a spaceballs. It is fucking spaceballs. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Escape the escape pod. The escape pod. There we go. All right. <laughs> I, don't, two, I, don't, two, I don't remember two. Rick Moranis saying fuck, though. He says fuck. Wow. Even in the future, nothing Holy works. Holy shit. <laughs> in the TV edit, it, go, it, just go, it goes blank. Even in the future, nothing works. Wow. I don't but in the, remember on the, on the VHS, fuck. Okay. Well, he says fuck. Even in the Rick future, Moranis. nothing works. 
Good old Rick. All right, so if Matthew gets this right, he wins the game. Oh, hell yeah. If he doesn't, then I can get the win, win play the on? game if Matthew gives me one I know. Uh-huh. Play on, yes. Mm. <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> let's do... Why are you fucking laughing at me? I don't know. You're... No, no, because I know you're, you're, you're funny the fuck guy. you laughing you're funny at. Guys, the way you you're, you're tell the story. Funny, funny, funny guy. half. Funny like a funny half. Funny, funny, funny fucking half. <laughs> good, good fellas. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You tell you me. Said it. You said it. <laughs> you said I was funny. <laughs> you fucking said it. What's so fucking funny about me, huh? Uh, Joe Pesci. <laughs> old as fuck. Fuck it. Good old Pesh. The Pesci mode. Pesh mode. <laughs> this, this is for all the marbles. This is for marbles, man. This These are for fucking marbles. marbles. Oh, the marbles. All right, ready? Mm. Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me. A guy gets on the MTA here in LA, dies. Do you think anybody will notice? Oh, I know. Oh, this come one. on. Fuck. I know this one. It, uh, it's, it stars the guy that we were kind of talking about earlier with the Dark Universe. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. You got it. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Should I guess guess wrong so we keep this game going? Because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Jeez, I know the answer. It's a, it's, a, it's a great film, too. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. It's so good. Do your, do, you, do, you, do your best impersonation of the guy again, Justin. Go ahead. Do it again. <laughs> can't really do an impression. <laughs> This, 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 this the guy gets on the NCAA the on the here <laughs> in LA, dies. Do you think anybody will notice? He's not yelling it. He's kind of like, like he's whispering more controlled it. in this scene. Yeah, he's very he's bleeding at this point. I feel like the guy other guy in the uh, in, in the taxi is more like here fucking crazy in LA. Oh, dies. Do you think anybody will notice? See, that's way better. More like, yeah. hey, guy gets on the MTA, he dies. Do you think anybody will notice? Mm. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> it is the last uh, line of the film, too. It, even it's a callback, because he says it earlier on in the film, too. He says it earlier on in the film. We all know what this movie is. Let's put us out of our misery. Hey, after tomorrow. Top Gun! <laughs> <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Legend! <laughs> risky Business. Well, Risky Business. It risky Business. <laughs> uh-huh. It is. Collateral. <laughs> Collateral, yes. Great movie. Oh, it's so good. This has been simply quotable. Hey, don't give me that look. I warned you. Uh, go ahead and tell everybody our information. Oh, yeah, information. Because you guys probably want that after hearing this fucking mess. <laughs> no, we're, our, our podcast has actually got great production value. Yes. And kids will love it. Kids will love it. Oh, fun for the whole family. Bring it home for Christmas. <laughs> You know what you people should really do out there? Mm. Download eight episodes and play one episode per Hanukkah night. Ooh. Because Hanukkah's coming up, everybody. Don't forget it. Eight Never forget swearing it. nights. Eight swearing nights. Yes, eight crazy swearing nights. But Simplistic Reviews, that's the podcast. You can find us on simplisticreviews.net. That's where all of our hijinks are all in one uh, place and one time and one world. Until the internet dies, which will <laughs> probably be happening pretty soon, everybody. Very, so very soon. load up on those, load up on those podcasts because you're not going to be able to afford downloading them pretty soon. Just so you might as well do them now, quick, man. Download them fast. Yeah, you got you got about 94 episodes to catch up on. So <laughs> hey, this is perfect. Um, but hey, if you can't download the uh, podcast, you can always go on uh, Facebook and uh, like us. But you probably won't be able to do that soon either. Or uh, go to Letterbox and see our reviews, but you won't be able to do that either soon. Uh, <laughs> go go on Twitter and tweet at us, but you won't be able to don't do that soon do that. either. Nope. Um, yeah, so soon this very well might be the last podcast <laughs> again, that we do. Once again, you know, the last. We've been saying it, but you know what? <laughs> it's going to finally happen, I think. I think we're finally on the right track to have Net neutrality be was the, the last final. nail in the coffin for the simplistic review the, podcast. The nail in our coffins. <laughs> The nail on all of our coffins right here. We're, we're, all, we're so all done. Close. We're all done for. But yeah, go, go, while you can, go to simplisticreviews.net and uh, have, have some fun. No, uh, yeah, have some fun. Well, for, Have fun before you die. <laughs> for Brundlefly and uh, Matt Lauer, um, I'm uh, Louis C.K. Well, who's Brundlefly and who's Matt Lauer? I, I, don't know I guess I'm Matt Lauer. I don't I'm know Matt. who's more disgusting in this situation. Uh, saying goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> have a good time. <laughs> See you real soon. See you real soon.
Yeah. Well, just make sure you lock the door behind you, okay? <laughs> hey, what's that? What's that noise? Oh, the door's closing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my God, you got me a dildo for my birthday. <laughs> uh, yes, and there's a note in there, and I want you to use it that way. <laughs> Good old Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer. Hey, Matt, you're, you're, you're glib. You're glib, Matt Lauer. You're glib. Tom Cruise called it a long time ago. <laughs> glib. You're Quite glib, glib. And you're a fucking pervert. This has been another edition of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. Some have wondered what goes into my preparation for announcing the show. Well, I'm typically sent a script from Valentine or Polizzi the morning of our broadcast. I peruse it. Make notes. Then tear that tripe up and talk about whatever the hell I want. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Sending me a script? You kidding me? Everything I say is all off the dome, baby. All of the motherfucking dome. Thank you for calling Costco.com. Our member service center is currently closed. Normal business hours are Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m and Saturday and Sunday, 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Please try your call again during normal business hours.